everybody, so I hope you're well and having the best day as always. I feel really sad because you can't see my cute stitch jumper. Today I'm coming up to you with a Lush Empties video and I have not filmed an Empties video in probably over a year now. It's been a very, very, very long time and I have accumulated quite a lot of empties and I had a comment on a recent video asking for an empties video and I thought I would film one because I've not filmed one in ages so grab yourselves a cup of tea, a coffee, a hot chocolate, cold beverage, whatever you fancy and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So the first thing is the only hair care product I have in bottle form and that is American Cream Conditioner. This stuff I love to death honestly. I can't get enough of this. I find it works so well with my hair. My hair loves it. It makes this, like, the scent of it lingers on my hair for ages. And I always go back to this one. I've tried Veganese. I've tried Retread. I've tried Happy Happy Joy Joy. But this is the one that I always use because it just makes my hair feel and smell incredible. All the rest of the bottles I have to share with you are all shower gels. The first two are the same and that is the Snow Fairy Shower Gel. This comes out every single year for Christmas and it smells like bubblegum, super, super sweet, sweet smell. Um, it's so strong, but really lovely. It's a beautiful pink colour, has sparkles in it, and it is coming out this year for Christmas, which is really exciting. Um, but yeah, this stuff I love. I feel like I can sometimes have enough of it. I feel like I can't constantly use it because I do get fed up with the smell. Um, however, I do really, really like this, and I think it is a cult classic. Oh, I'm dropping it. Ooh, my hands aren't working today, but yeah. Snow Fairy, you guys know what this is. I don't really need to explain about it too much. Next is one which came out last year and that is Bubbly. Now Bubbly was a beautiful shower gel. It smelt like Golden Wonder Celebrate Body Lotion. Basically smelt like orange fizzy drinks. It smelt incredible and I love it. This is one of my favorites. I just can't get enough of it. I do have a large bottle left so my battery's about to die. Really? Really. I'm really sorry if the camera has just moved slightly. I've just changed the battery, so that's why it's moved, in case you're wondering. Bubbly shower gel. I love this so much. It's amazing. I think it's coming back this year, so don't hold me on that, but I think it has come back. So if you guys haven't tried it, please try it, because it is divine. The next shower gel I have to share with you is actually a shower cream, and that is the Lord of Misrule Shower Cream. I have two little ones to share with you. This is beautiful. Lord of Misrule, if you guys don't know, is one of my absolute favourite scents of all time. Lord of Misrule, Plum Rain, Twilight, kind of my top three. Uh, but this stuff is just incredible. I love it around Halloween because it's bright green and it looks so cool in the shower. I just, I swear by this stuff. The bath bomb's amazing. The scrub is amazing. Like, I just absolutely love it. And I can't recommend this enough to you guys because the smell is just... It's just winter in a bowl. I love it. Next up we have Dirty Spring Wash. As you can see it's a little bit squished. Uh, this one is an all year round product and it smells of mint. It's really fresh, really like zingy and awakening and I love this one so much. I think it's really underrated though because it's just there all year round so no one really notices it. It's just kind of hiding kind of on the shelves but this stuff just smells beautiful. If you guys haven't tried it just go and get a sample because it is lovely and I really need a bigger bottle of this because I have now run out so yeah gonna have to get another one of these I think. The next one I'm gonna share with you is one you guys know I absolutely love so much and that is the Yuzu and Coco shower cream. This stuff is being discontinued which really upsets me because I love it so much. I have one large bottle left from when I left Lush so I still have that but I can't use it because I know it's gonna be discontinued like it smells so nice so I am using it sparingly and yeah I have used up a small one so yeah, I'm really sad it's leaving, but I did love this so much. And lastly, for all of the bottled items, is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. This is coming out again this year for Christmas. Smells like roses, smells like the Rose Jam Bubble Rune, and smells kind of like the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. It has a beautiful, beautiful smell, and again, it comes out every single year for Christmas. To me, it's not a Christmassy smell, though. I always use this in the summer for some reason. I just find that it is more of a summer staple for me rather than a Christmas one. Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't tried this again, give it a go, I really, really enjoy it. So now we're gonna move on to all of the potted items. The first one I'm gonna share with you is body lotions, and the first one I have is the Dream Cream Body Lotion. This stuff is so lovely. It has a really 
soothing feeling. It's great for people who have eczema, psoriasis, sensitive skin, fresh tattoos, like this stuff is a godsend and it's so calming and relaxing as well. And I think you can use this as a after sun, I'm pretty sure, because it's really cooling as well. So this stuff I love and I honestly would recommend it. Um, I know a lot of people that use this as a staple in their skincare routine and really like it. So yeah, if you've not tried this, maybe go and give it a go because it is great. And the last body lotion I have to share with you is the Sympathy for the Skin. I didn't actually manage to finish this. I got about to there and I had to throw the rest away because it had a really gross smell. It smelled vile. Uh, it wasn't actually out of date, which was weird, but it just had a really horrible, horrible smell and I didn't like it at all. So I threw the rest away, uh, but I kept the pot, obviously, to recycle. Um, and yeah, I really like this. It's really fine and really softening and I really liked it on my kind of arms and things because it sunk in really quickly. And it had a scent of sort of similar to like vanilla ice cream and it had vanilla pods in it, so it did look like ice cream as well. And yeah, I love this one. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase um, any body lotions though, just because I have a fair few to get through, so I am trying to use all my Lush stuff rather than buy more and more, um, but yeah, I really like this, and I'd recommend it if you've not tried a body lotion, I really do like this one, and it just suited my skin really well. Next, moving on to body conditioners, so basically a body lotion that you would use in the shower. I have two, and they are both the same, and that is the Snow Fairy Body Conditioner. This came out last year for Christmas, and everybody went out absolutely mental for it. It sold so so well and I actually prefer the smell of this to the shower gel because it's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more creamy rather than intense and kind of in your face. Um, but yeah I loved this. It was a beautiful pink colour. I don't know whether there's any left in here for me to show you. You can't really see it. It was a beautiful beautiful pink colour and um, yeah I loved this. It was just so so nice and as you can see I finished two of those so yeah if you guys can get your hands on it I know it's back this year so go and get one because it's lovely. I only have one shaving product for you and that is the Defluff Shaving Soap. This pot is like a little bit minging and it's got paper all over it so it looks kind of gross but that's what it looks like on the front as you can see it got a little bit wet in my shower uh, but yeah Defluff is really really nice it's a strawberry shaving soap. I had this when when did I buy this? A long time ago. This lasts for absolutely ages and I have bought another one and I love it. It's just so nice and it works really well. So not really much I can say about shaving soap other than this is my favourite one and I love it. Moving on to hair care. The first one is a shampoo and that is the Jersey Bounce shampoo. Surprisingly I absolutely, oh I dropped it, love this stuff. Um, the smell, not really for me. It smells kind of like pancake batter. Don't really like it. However it is a sea salt shampoo with eggs in so it's really moisturising volumizing, texturizing, all the izings you can imagine, this does it and I absolutely love it. Um, most of these products, in fact all of these products, I actually love, so I'm really sorry there's nothing here I don't like, but this stuff is so good and I think I like it more than big, so yeah, I do really like this one. And the last two products for hair care are treatments. The first one is my all-time favorite hair treatment in the world, apart from Roots, and that is the Heshwen Wen Hua. Don't know if I can pronounce that. After all this time, I don't think I can pronounce that right. Uh, this is essentially an egg avocado banana hair treatment. Super rich for, and great for kind of dry hair, which I definitely have because it's curly, as you guys know. So my hair does get a little bit dry, especially in the winter time. Um, so yeah, this stuff is just incredible and I can't live without it. I have another pot of it already and I just swear by it. It's amazing. So if you guys have any kind of damaged or brittle or dry hair, this stuff is what you need in your life because it's incredible. And the last hair treatment is the Jasmine and Henna Fluffies. Now this is essentially a hair treatment for kind of frizzy hair, I guess. It kind of smooths it down, kind of makes it softer and kind of more together, if that makes sense. This stuff has a very bizarre smell, not really my kind of smell, if I'm honest. However, the way it made my hair feel was really nice and I have used this a few times and I do like it. I don't think I like it as much as my, um, but I do really like it so yeah these are amazing and I think they're really good. And now moving on to face masks and I have five of them to show you. The first one is the Mask of Magnuminty face mask. You guys know I love this, I've spoken about this a million times, I don't need to go over it again but it's a mint mask, great for spots, I love this so so much so yeah get this one, it's so good. The second mask I have is the cup of coffee, again you guys know I love that. These two masks are kind of my go-to, I swear by these so much, they just work really really well with my skin. Uh, so yeah this one smells like coffee and it wakes me up, makes me feel incredible and it has a really fine exfoliant in it so it gets rid of any dead skin and things like that. So these two are 
just my faves I love these so yes and lastly I have three fresh face masks two of which are the same so I will start with those and that is the OT fix face mask now this one is essentially really good for dry skin it's full of um, like oats and banana and it's really like porridge looking looks gross to be honest it does not look nice on your face however it makes my skin feel so soft so if you have dry skin this one is in just so good and if your skin is a little bit more sensitive you should be okay with this one and last but definitely not least is the don't look at me fresh face mask this one is one of my faves it has a very fine scrub in it it's really fresh and it's bright blue so you look incredibly cool as well um, but yeah this one's really nice and I have had this a couple times and I just really like it I just think it worked really well my skin so yeah I would recommend this one if you've got sensitive skin don't use it because it will destroy your skin but other than that it's really good so those are all of my empties I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I didn't go into too much detail about each product because you guys know a lot about Lush and if you have any questions about any of the products I mentioned just comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up if you did and subscribe because it makes me so so happy and I love having you guys on my channel so yeah if you haven't subscribed please do and I will see you in my next video bye guys Hi everybody, so I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always. Today I'm coming at you with the most exciting video of the year and that is the Lush Christmas range for 2017. So I basically went on the Lush website.